Anthony Topping from Frame It All. I'm going to do a garden edging project for you now using our curved timber and our straight timbers in combination. We're going to pin our border down with our anchor stake. You can see these serrated edging for the anchor stake which helps to pin down that border and prevent heaving of the stake during the winter. So the problem that we're having is when it rains, the rain is washing the mulch down and washing it down the slope but also washing it into the grass area. So you can see how it's, it migrates over into the grass area and we really want to retain that. So we're going to get going on our project. I'm going to lay down the border. I'm going to then put these plants in and, uh, and then mulch. So I'm going to lay out my border. I'm going to connect the boards together with, with the stake up so it connects the boards. And then once I have everything in position and I edge it out, then I'll flip it over and hammer it through. So we're using our one inch timbers for this project. Um, it's made out of recycled plastic and wood fibers. I'm going to put the border on the other side of this pathway here and we'll lay a few stones in here surrounded by some mulch. Okay, so now I'm going to adjust the border. I'm going to do some edging so I'll get this nice and straight and uh, then we'll hammer it in. I'm going to use my edger. I'm going to start down below and work my way up because I'm a, I'm a righty and I'm going to go into a motion like this along the border to make a channel for my edging to sit in so it has a nice level area to be pinned down. So I finished my edging. I'm going to push the border in and then I'm going to use this tool here to pull up the grass and create my uh, channel. So I finished planting, me and my guys, laid out some begonias, some ornamental grass, some pukara, which really complement the hydrangea, and uh, put a layer of mulch down. So we're going to just water this in and that's it. This project is done. Mm -hmm.